Fridays mean unplugged on 702. On this Friday, we're going to be easing you into the weekend. We have, actually have not had um, as full a band as what we do in studio at the moment. So I'm quite excited. My inner, inner muso is getting ready to be eased into the weekend. So for today, I introduce to you, and please assist me, ne? my vendor relatives. Yo, but you disappointed because you're you know, Kilwei Nechibare. Nechibare. Yes, Nechibare. There we go. There we go. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming through. Now, you're not just a musician, you're also a culturalist. Please explain what that means. Oh, oh first of all, I want to uh, thank 702 team for this wonderful welcome and the whole listeners out there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not my first time here. I've been here. With non both on some other shows. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, I uh, after studying music, you know, I had to sort of uh, check between Western uh, vibes and then then my where I'm coming from, which I uh, hail from Venda, mm. where I fell in love with my culture. That's why I I love my culture so much. So my music is more influenced by my culture mm. and mm. heritage. That's why. I practice that a lot. So I love, I don't like the language that I'm using now. Yes. I love Chivenda. So that's why. So <laughs> yeah, and and fortunately, we have an English license, but yes. I'm glad you can acknowledge that because, yes, 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 yes. you know, we those of us that are living in Gauteng, we're raising our kids in Gauteng, we struggle to get the pure language because we are di- quite diluted. So do you feel like part of your calling is to be preserving your heritage and your culture through the work that you do? You just hit the, 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 the nail there. Um, I, I've seen a gap, a huge gap, normally mm. when it comes to our heritage, has been uh, diluted a mm. lot. So even the music that we hear nowadays is more influenced by Western forms and stuff. Yes. So I, I'm one guy who goes back and just get a raw old Magogo with the drum and mm. try and infuse with what I learn in, yes. in, in, in jazz, you know, and fuse it, yes. Have you actually discovered any interesting new instruments, Tsakohai, mm. that maybe the 702 audience has never heard of? Yes, there's quite a lot of them. Yes. Um, the, like now, today I'll play an instrument called Mbira. Mm. It's, it's a thumb piano. Oh, nice. Yes, so... Where, 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 the, where you play, it's like little steel rods. Yeah, well, yes, yes, that's, that's yes. the one. And then I also play uh, traditional drums. We call mm. them ngoma, mm. which is also have mirumba, so little ngomas. And then and also play the reed, it's like a pipe mm. uh, instrument, yes. So what, what made you such a multi-instrumentalist? Because the skills are so different, you know, playing a reed instrument where you now you it's a it's basically a wind instrument you're blowing now to do the fi- the playing with your thumbs versus playing a guitar yes. is complete completely yeah. different skills now to get to master multiple instruments there are not many people who can do it that well what do you think was in you that you were able to do that well uh, i'll start by removing a master i haven't master any, any <laughs> of that but uh, I, I grew up in a family where we have uh, traditional dances yes like marende mm. where you have like uh, li- women playing and singing mm. and then we have chikona where it's like a group of um, uh, guys blowing uh, dinaka yes yeah you could call it nanga yes and then uh, uh, uh my dad used to play in beer as well. Yes. Yeah, pick a uh, traditional um, drums as well. Mm. And uh, so by, by that, and we used to have a band. Actually, yes. But it's just that when I grew up. You guys were the Jacksons, Bako <laughs> <laughs> yeah, And like you were the Michael Jackson of uh, the group. <laughs> no, well, uh, but when I grew up, it, it, it faded out by mm. then because I'm from a very big family. Mm. So they used to have a band where they can jam with, with um Cousins and whatnot, yes. and, 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 yeah. and then the next thing was um, uh, learning my guitar from from school. And yes, yes yeah. And um, in terms of for you going the route of jazz, I mean, we you know some some more commercial or r- your rock your your 
commercial pop sounds, right? They find jazz to be very self-indulgent. <laughs> For you, what drew you to jazz? Especially because, like you say, our ears are very tuned to what we hear on radio, what we grew up hearing. And and for somebody who might not have grown up hearing mm. other sounds, listening to jazz might be like, yo, we are dying. Well, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Jazz, you remember the division for jazz, it's a, it's a free improvisation. Yes. Being free. So it, uh, it created a space for me to fuse, to bring my culture in. So I remember some other music, they strict, they're very strict, yes. like classical. Yes. Classical is very strict. So with jazz, you improvise. So you can put your own, uh, you know, vibes on it, mm. you know. Yeah. So, so that's why I had to, I fall in love with jazz because of the freedom. Yes, yes. yes. That, that, that's the way. So, and then of course, uh, studying jazz as a young person, like you're saying, yeah, people think it's boring and whatnot. Uh, it's all about how you feel, what you feed yourself with. If you feel yourself with, uh, with uh, just uh, Ama Piano, you know, somebody who grew up um, uh, in older days who won't believe that it's just what you're feeding yourself on that. Yes. Uh, because what I used to do when you, I was cool. You really just got me thinking now when you mentioned <laughs> Amapi, and I'm like, yo, this generation of kids, when they're older, it's going to be like, what a classic. Listening yeah, to exactly. some Amapi and a joint where, <laughs> like, for me, I'm like listening to Victor Wooten or Pat yes, Metheny and yeah. saying, what a oh, classic. Yeah. So yeah. you're so right about the thing of it's what you get fed. Yes, yes. If you if, if, if at home, they used to play uh, Pet Metheny, like yes. you said, or, or Richard Warner every day. Lilu Tavan Tross, yes. those artists. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm excited to hear the music. So when we come back, head over to the Facebook page. In the meantime, 702, and you can watch us streaming this performance live. We get to hear Lui live with his band. For the first time on 702 Unplugged, Lui Nechibare. We're gonna do a song called Swagare. Changoni la chula Africa, raba suyere. Waru wano ruga shubari tu baba jia zote rasa rasi na na chetu. Tu baba chia zote rasa rasa na na chetu wo. Rofuru sora jero shango uchi fiari na chachuri fana na zipuka ye ye. Pourquoi c'est qu'il y a un peu de temps, il 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 y a
second song um, uh, it's called Mudzimuashu uh, you know this one has been played on 72 uh, with uh, our father Richard Mwamba yes yes uh, so he plays it a lot so Mudzimuashu so here's some 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 horns from Venda yes let's go
Zichi mi pani takari Zichi kola ni rapeli Zichi wala ni rapeli Nizi ise hamurena Nizi ise ngatapeli Zibu zeni ramakuri Yeni The amazing sounds of Lue and you can find him on Instagram at Lue Music. That's L-W-E-I Music on Twitter the same as well. Such a fantastic sound. Such a pity it has to come to an end. Some piano solo to go. Fridays mean unplugged on seven oh two.